I am really hoping that my cow is pregnant. I'm gonna pull a blood sample to do a pregnancy test to check and see if she is. Because if she's not, we can start running into some problems. First one being that a cow goes into heat every three weeks. Five weeks ago, we got her bred, but then three weeks later, she showed some signs of heat. And that could be a false heat, but it could also very well mean that she didn't take that first time. And if she didn't, then we're gonna have to try again, and it'll start pushing her due date off into the summer. And so she'll end up being big pregnant in the middle of the hot summer. And if you're a woman who's gone through that before, I'm sure you know that that's not comfortable and I do not want to put my cow through that either. The next thing is, if she ends up being hard to breed and we got to try again and again, it could end up being that she has a calf in the middle of the winter. And sometimes those calves that are born in winter don't make it because it's so cold and stressful on their bodies. And obviously, I don't want to have that happen either. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this sample, do the pregnancy test, and I'm going to show you how to do it too. going to need to do it is a needle vacuum tainer and a needle holder so first thing you've got this needle here going to take the cap off and that leaves you with a needle with some threads there at the one end just going to thread that down into this needle holder and so what that does you've got a needle inside of there and once you pull this cap off you've got a bigger needle on the outside. The bigger needle is what's going to be stuck into the cow to hit the vein and this vacuum tainer here it's got actually like vacuum pressure inside of there and it's got a rubber piece right here at the end what i'm going to do is stick the needle into the cow the artery and then once i hit that artery i'm going to stick this vacuum tainer up inside there and the needle inside of there is going to puncture it and the blood will flow in here i need two cc's of blood send that in and find out if she's pregnant or not come on maddie so what i'm going to need to do is lift up her tail straight up and there is an artery that goes up the center of the tail. I'm gonna poke the needle in there to draw the blood. First what I need to do is clean that off real good. I'm gonna use some of the wipes that I use every morning uh, before milking. There's some people that say to go, there's two bones sticking out here to go up in here. Some that say to go in here. So I don't think it matters much as long as you go to the center and you go an exact 90 degree angle to get in there. You do not want to puncture that before we get in there. Here. There comes the blood. There we go. I'm gonna make sure I get plenty in there. She's still happily munching away on that feed that I gave to her. That was really simple. Our first cow, when I the first time I did that, I had to try a few times to get that artery and it was not fun. But that went really well. Got enough blood with that one try. I'm gonna take it in tomorrow and then they'll get me the results by the next day. Oh. Not too sure about this camera here. Hey, check it out. I got an email with the pregnancy test results. Let's open the file up and see what it says. All right, you can see right there, pregnant. But we'll keep watching her to see that she doesn't go into heat again. I figured it up from when she was bred and her due date should be about June 4th next spring. Super excited because we use sex semen again, so we should be getting another heifer calf and what a relief that I do not have to try getting her bread again. Just so happy that this worked out. It was the first time she went into heat after she had her calf. So what more could I ask for? If you like this video, you're definitely going to want to check this one out next. See you there.